بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سٹے ود عبد الصمد اللمان پلیز ہٹ لائک اینڈ شیئر ٹوڈے وی ار ایٹ دی ہارپر فیری اینڈ یو نو دیر از اے بگ ٹریل ان امریکا از کال دی اپلیشن ٹریل اپلیشن ٹریل آئی آلریڈی ہرڈ اباؤٹ اٹ اینڈ ٹیم از ٹوڈے رائٹ ود اس ہائی ٹیم ہاؤ ار یو ایم ڈوئنگ ویل ہاؤ ار یو ٹوڈے آئی واز جسٹ ہیونگ مائی لنچ ایٹ دی کینن بال ڈیلی از اے ون آف دی گریٹ حلال ریسٹورنٹ ان ہارپر فیری So I just saw he got a backpack and everything on it. So I'm always curious about it. People, how the people survive six months all the way from one end to another end. And uh, Tim, can you tell me about the uh, the trail? It's about 2,500 miles? Uh, about 2,100. 2,100 yeah. miles. Okay. Yeah. It started from all the way from the Georgia. Yep. And it's going to hurt North Carolina, uh, yep. Tennessee border, yep. uh, Virginia, West Virginia. And you're gonna head all the way to the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and uh, you can hit and then New York, Connecticut, New York, Connecticut Vermont, Vermont, New Hampshire, and all the way up into Central Maine. Central Maine. So it yeah. started from Georgia and all the way to the Maine. So you guys definitely have a lot of question about it. But the good thing is about it, the most longest way you need to cross is 500 miles in the whole Virginia. Okay. So Harbor Ferry, one of the part, you can, it's right next to the next block, you can start the trail from here. So people who are on the track, they come, eat food, and then get energy and go back to the trail. So the... So the main purpose to get your interview and get your suggestions and uh, for those people they are really want to come here. So what is your purpose behind it? So everybody has their own purposes but mm -hmm. for me I was in a city for the past couple years and okay. I missed the outdoors okay. so I decided that I would take a couple months off between graduating college and starting a job to reconnect with the outdoors for a little bit. Okay. So you really, want, you really want to enjoy the nature? Yes. And yes. guys, <clears throat> this is about six months an hour. And you guys have to walk 10 miles a day, 15 miles a day, 7 miles a day. You need to get used for that. And it's not easy. It's not like like me if I'm just going to go there and start walking. It's, it's, it's very hard. So you, you, have, you must have a proper gears for that, camping and everything with that. So, so Tim, how you survive with the, the extreme weather? So... When it's, it wasn't ever too cold. It was never went below uh, mm. zero degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And most of the nights when it was cold, um, I, I have a five degree sleeping bag Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. So that'll keep me nice and warm. Mm -hmm. And when it's cold during the day, mm -hmm. you just put on all of your clothes at once. And that was usually enough to keep me warm. And since you're walking, you're doing a lot of energy. And that also helps to keep you warm. That's cool. That's cool. So like, uh, it's it's like they 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 made the trail is like that. You can hit the towns, right? Yeah. It's so easily they, hit the towns. Yeah. There's a lot of towns within 10 miles of the Appalachian Trail, mm -hmm. or cl or in a lot of cases closer. So we go through. I've this is the third town that I've gone directly through, cool. and there are more coming up. Uh, and and the Harbor Ferry is the, is the middle of the track. Just about, yes. It's about about 2100, as I, he already done with the 1000 miles and 21, 121,000 miles. So it's pretty half of them, and then you can get, he's getting down to get the energy and stuff. And um, how you survive with the, the medical conditions, or you, you always have the medicines with you, or something like that? Yeah, so for any medicine that I had to take um, continuously, I have um, in my backpack and just carry it with me. If there's a medical emergency, like a broken bone, it's not too difficult to get to the nearest road and get a shuttle out. Mm -hmm. Luckily, that hasn't happened for me or oh, anyone okay. that I know. That is nice, man. Yes. You can see a lot of people there on the bicycles as well, or no. it's not easy, though? It's, it's a hiking-only footpath, so you okay. aren't allowed to have a bike or you aren't allowed to ride a horse. Um, it's only for only for the person hiking, okay. Yes. Okay, and now, uh, what is your... Uh, very strange experience in your last two months where you had it like you did you hit any 
is anybody you involved in any dangerous animals or something like that? So the closest I've had to a dangerous animal encounter was a bear that I saw. Mm -hmm. So I was coming into a shelter and I hear a rustling beside me and I'm like, oh, probably just a deer. But I look over and it's a black shape and I'm sure. like, oh, that's a bear. <laughs> There's a bear. Uh, so, and then it ran behind a bush. So I was oh. okay. But it's harmful, right? Um, they generally won't attack you unless you are running away or um, they prefer to just eat food that's hanging out mm -hmm. so whenever you're in the woods like this you always want to make sure that your food is not freely available to bears but either by hanging it hanging it or putting it in a bear box um, got it, got where it, got they that. won't be able to reach it cool man uh, I heard it's for my experience it's like you know uh, people got a lot of stress here uh, some people they're exhausted with the job same routine every time so they just get a, the, the couple months off and they can go to the trail but make sure you have money to survive in a bag there okay so but it's good for the health and someone start this track is gonna give you energy more it's gonna burn all the calories whoever have a problem with the hearts and other other cholesterol and other stuff I definitely recommend that when you go to the trail, you can hit the nature. There's a beauty of the nature. You can see the God create a lot of beautiful things. And this is all in America. So it's safe, very safe. You can have, you can have a lot of, uh, uh, like in the, when is the season is start, you can see a lot of people on the track. You're not going to be a buy alone over there, by yourself there. You can see it's going to motivate other people as well. So thank you so much, Tim. And yeah, thank uh, thanks for your time. What is the last message you're going to give to our audience? I'm, I'd just like to say that if you are interested in this, uh, feel free to give it a try either by doing just a section, uh, so like on one day to 100 miles or something like that, mm -hmm. or just go all in and do the full through hike. That's cool. Thank you so much, Tim. Yeah, thank, so you nice of you. thank you, buddy. Thank you, guys.